Hey guys, it's Tuesday. There's really not much going on today. I've had seven meetings already, and I have one more to go. Um, it's been a really meeting heavy day today, and I really just need some downtime to actually do work. But next week, I won't be able to work the full five days because Monday is a holiday, with, which is Juneteenth. And then Wednesday, Thursday, I'm going to a design conference, so I wouldn't be able to actually be in the office working, which only leaves me to Tuesday and Friday to do actual work. And then the following week, I'm... I'm going to Korea on Wednesday, so I'll only have Monday and Tuesday of that week to do work before I'm off for a week and a half. And so this week has just been like jam-packed meetings, getting shit done, and trying to wrap things up before I leave. PTO is like great and all, but it's also stressful where like I feel like I can't just take it whenever I want. I have to like strategize it so that I make sure that when I come back from PTO, I'm not gonna be backloaded with so much stuff to do. And so I feel like that's like the pros and cons of working. You know, you have PTO, but sometimes you feel guilty for taking PTO. And I think that's why people say like, if you have unlimited PTO, it's actually like not good. Because number one, if you didn't use any PTO days and then you left the company, you don't get paid for that, for those PTO days. Uh, because it's unlimited and it's not like an actual number. Not only that, you feel guilty for taking PTO if you're on unlimited because it's like, you know, you have to make sure that you take PTO during the right time. But who knows when a right time will appear. And so that's why, like, I'm really grateful that at my company, it's not unlimited, but... Yeah. But anyway, after work today... I'm gonna try to get myself to go to the gym again. I've been on sort of like a health grind the last two weeks with my boyfriend. We're trying to like cut, aka not like go on a diet, but like eat healthier and make more conscious choices. Like less eating out, less junk food, um, and then more working out because over the last year, like both of us have started to feel more and more sluggish. Like we are like working out every week, but it's not that consistent and it's not that like intense. And we've been eating out a lot and we feel like we should just make a lifestyle choice to like be healthier. And so that's what we're trying to do. But I already went to the gym yesterday. I wasn't able to film that. I should go to the gym again today because I'm actually going to be grabbing dinner with some of my friends. Some of my high school friends that I haven't seen in ages. But anyway, I, I want to try to get a workout in before. But yeah, got to get back to work. I have one more meeting. And then I'm going to do some more work, get myself to the gym, and then catch up with my friends. guys okay just finished work i actually ended up doing like a quick workout in my room because i feel like i don't have enough time to go and work out in the gym and then come home shower get ready to hang out with my friends so i just did like a really small and short arms workout at home so at least i'm getting something in because i feel like my philosophy is like as long as i get at least 15 minutes of like working out or exercising in like that's already a huge milestone for me and like that's good on me so i'm already happy about that but i'm gonna get ready soon i just need to do like a quick touch up on my on my face and then that'll be it nothing extensive and then i'll be out the door <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but I'm literally breaking out so much. Ugh. I think the nice thing is like, because I know I'll be starting my Accutane treatment soon, it doesn't bother me that much. <laughs> or it doesn't bother me as much just because I know like, you know, everything's gonna be fine. But I'm also worried that like, what if I start Accutane and it doesn't work? <laughs> I'll be kind of depressed, not gonna lie.
Hey guys, just got back from the bank. Just exchanged money. They said that it'll take like two to three business days to get my foreign currency. So I have to go pick it up in a few days. It's crazy. I can't believe like my Korea trip is coming up so fast. If I'm being honest, I feel so unprepared for this trip. And I think it's because like so many things have been happening and like spreading myself so thin. And at the same time, I have to think about like trip plans, like where are the logistics, where are we going to be, what do we need, X, Y, and Z. And so it's just a lot to think about. And like the thing about Asia in general is like I feel very overwhelmed by like how much stuff there is to do. We're going to be there I think for a week and a half. And even though it's a week and a half, I feel like that's still, like, I have to cram, like, I have this urge that I need to cram everything into a single day. It's stupid, but the thing that's, like, stressing me out the most is, like, where to eat? <laughs> like, where are the cool cafes? Like, what's popular? Like, I want to go to all the popular restaurants and stuff. Like, I'm really bad at choosing where to eat, and so, like, that's, like, the part that gives me the most anxiety. So, I'm hoping my friends could take care of that. Yeah, I feel like I'm very like type A energy and I like to plan out like trips and everything like at least like a rough outline of what we're doing every single day. One thing about me is like I hate wearing backpacks at the airport. I don't know like it's just so uncomfortable for me like I don't want to be carrying such a huge and heavy backpack like on my back the whole time like I want to just like have it rest on my suitcase and yeah I can put my backpack on my suitcase while I'm carrying it around but something about that it just like always falls off it doesn't look cute I don't know I just want a nice looking carry-on bag that I can bring with me to replace my backpack and so I actually recently ordered one from Cowpack and I'm waiting for it to come in my biggest thing that I was looking for is like a bag that can hold my laptop which means that I want a bag that kind of has a little bit of padding and then I ordered this like $5 toiletry bag off of Amazon and like a bunch of other things probably a waste of my money but I had an Amazon gift card so it's okay but I'm really excited for it to come in and like share with you guys oh and um Usually I try to go into the office on Thursdays and so what I'll tend to do is like on Wednesdays I'll head over to my boyfriend's place and stay over and then the next day I'll go to work just because he lives really close to my office. So that's what I'll be doing tonight. After work I'm going to go gym, I'm going to shower, I'm going to pack, I'm going to eat dinner, I'm going to head over to his place and the next day I'll be heading into the office. All right, it is currently after work now. I'm trying to fit a workout in and be healthy. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and get changed. All right, time to get changed. It literally looks like I didn't even change. I usually wear like old t-shirts and then I have like these, uh... okay, you know what? <laughs> so I usually wear like old t-shirts and then I'll have like workout shorts that I wear and so ta-da so one thing that's been bugging me is like I've been wearing my hair like with a middle part and I've been really liking it but the problem is because I do a middle part so often my middle part started being kind of like bald or, or like it's like too obvious of the middle middle part that's been annoying because like my hair naturally falls into a middle part and i can't do anything about it it just happens all right let's head on to the gym now and let's hope that i'm able to film part of it because a lot of times i get really shy because i don't want people to see that i'm filming myself working out because I am not like a professional gym person. Like They probably think I'm filming myself thinking that I'm like doing it so well and that I'm hot shit or whatever, but that is not the case. That is not the case, but yeah. On to the gym we go. <laughs>
She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad features You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her You see her walking down the boulevard She got the posture of a superstar She looks so fly in those Gucci slides Yeah, yeah, I wonder what she hides under her disguise Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, it is Friday. Um, I just finished work. I wasn't feeling the best today, so I kind of took it easy. I think what happened was I got a canker sore in my throat and it kind of just threw me off for the rest of the day. I'm feeling a lot better now. Me and Michael are gonna go out to SF to enjoy a little dinner date together. So I'm gonna bring you guys along. Yeah, it's not bitter at all. Yeah, picture. <laughs> okay. 